Hello and welcome to a Knife Lab special report. So big news out of Spyderco. The one Spyderco knife that used to be acceptable for everyone to carry, the Spyderco Delica, has been rapidly made obsolete by none other than Spyderco. Congratulations, you played yourself. That's right, the Spyderco brand has released a very similar knife called the Para 3. Similar in some ways, but so vastly superior in others that no one will ever speak of the Delica again. This report is going to demonstrate exactly how the differences amongst the Para 3's stable of changes are not only life changing to you, but will shake the industry to the core. I now proclaim that you must all behold as I use science to show that the Delica is now obsolete trash and that doing anything other than moving up to the Para 3 lightweight will severely compromise your quality of life. Owing to the new kind of lock, the Para 3 has a deployment speed that dwarfs the old, slow, rickety deployment speed of the Spyderco Delica. We're going to use high-tech slow motion cameras to show how much time you will be saving deploying your new Para 3 after you throw your worthless Delica in the trash. As has clearly been shown, the deployment speed on the Para 3 dwarfs the rustic Delica. Our scientists suggest that given that the average knife user probably opens or closes their knife 100 times per day, over a 10 year period they will save literally minutes of their life upgrading to the Para 3. Think of all the things you can do with those minutes. Spend all the time with family. Or friends. Learn a craft. make knife videos. The possibilities are endless, but we're just getting started. The other differences that will present themselves between the Para 3 and the Delica get more and more obscene. As you can see from the sheer amount of fumbling required to close the Delica, we start to verge into dangerous territory, the territory of rheumatoid arthritis. The sheer overuse of the fingers, as you can observe them trying to navigate around the awkward and clumsy spine lock of the Delica, are adding years of use to fingers that should really be reserved for typing on your keyboard. Comparing that to the single pinch and drop shot of the paramilitary three, you're saving your body literally thousands of years of wear and tear. That's not to mention the speed as well. The paramilitary, by my estimate, closes in about half the amount of time as a Spyderco Delica, even in the hands of a seasoned Spyderco Delica user. We're now going to move on to closing the knife. Again, we're going to turn to high-tech slow motion camera and just show how effortless it is to close a Para 3 compared to the Delica. Let's watch. Think again of all the things you can do, all the potential you can unlock in your life with all that extra time. As you can see, enormous time savings can be made. Now as you all may know, the heart of the knife lab is steel. And when talking about steel, well, there is no contest. The Spyderco Para 3 comes with a steel that has been measured in the knife lab with a 17 degree mirror polished edge to hold for almost twice as long 
as VG10 at its maximum capacity. Now, doing the maths, we're looking at over the lifetime of the knife and over the lifetime of the user, possibly sharpening this knife about half as often. Sharpening knives is something that the average knife user, according to top knife lab scientists, spend at least two years of every 10 doing. Thinking on this, if this knife needs to only be sharpened half the amount of time as the Delica, then you are gaining a year of life per 10. Again, think of all the things that you could do if someone said to you one day, hey, don't worry about dying, not so soon anyway. I have for you in my pocket the means to live another year. Also, did you know that VG in VG10 stands for very gay? And the 10 being the score on the gay scale about how gay it is? Now around here, we don't like those SJW city steels. We like good old fashioned family steel. VG10, no way. They say these differences are small. They say these knives are about the same size, have blades that are ground about the same, have grips that are both reasonably comfortable. However, as you see, when you apply these to life, and that's what we're all about here in the Knife Lab, should really be called the Life Lab, because we are finding you time, time to use for other things. I hope you've enjoyed this special presentation. Spider Coat Power 3, if I haven't sold you on it now, well, let's just say that soon, you might be out of time.